Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome back to the Ultimate RTG. It is Rewards Day, Foot Division Rivals. What are we taking? The packs. We're going to be taking tradable packs this time around, just in case I do pull someone from the team of the week that I can sell on, and then get together some more coins to go and purchase Inform William. That is the player that I want for this weekend. Have you seen his stats? If you compare the non-inform to the inform, he has gone up in uh, attack positioning, finishing, just everything. A really nice boost. If you compare him to someone like a Suarez, Suarez has gone up like one or two stats. Even Monolas, they haven't changed him too much, whereas William, he's really benefited fitted off of this inform upgrade so he's someone that I'm, i've included in the starting 11 i've also uh put in marquinhos alex teles i'll go and show you in a second but we've got division rival rewards to go and claim spcs new team adjustments investments as well damn we've spent over 50,000 coins i've gambled i think that it's going to be a bamiang Fingers crossed, pray for me right now. And if you are enjoying the series, make sure to drip a, uh, drop a big thumbs up on the video. That would be much appreciated. So, Division Rivals, let's find out where we finished. Have I got the 50k bags? Oh, do I double up though? Damn, I don't know what I want to do. If I double up, I get two 50k packs. Or do I just take the 150k pack? Oh, nah. You can't do this to me right now. You know what? Oh, what do I do? Do I desperately need the coins? Let's think about it. We can leave rewards. Come out later tonight, 7 o'clock. I'm getting the coins for finishing in rank, um, or well, Elite 2. And then I've got the Team of the Week pack and then a 100k pack. I'm going to be able to make quite a lot of coins, right? I should be able to pack something that I could sell to then be able to afford William. I think we'll be all right. Let's take the two 50k packs and the two gold packs i know they're untradeable but chances are ea will actually give us something if they are untradeable do you think that was a good idea or a bad idea what are we saying well we're gonna have to find out it could be the best idea that we've ever had if i pull an icon an inform willian now chance of getting an inform willian or someone from the team of the week that i actually want to use is pretty slim but Mane's in there we've got suarez who knows what we're going to pull later tonight in that team of the week pack but let's start off with the rare gold pack actually the consumables getting the fitness cards and all that that's actually really helpful i don't mind so much what are you gonna give me? Oh, and the new animation as well. I don't know if you've seen it, but the cards look bloated. They're massive. I don't know if I'm a big fan of the actual change, but Borgia uh, Valero, 84 dribbling doesn't seem that bad. He's really slow. Yeah, very slow. Nathan Ake, actually, we had him and he was amazing. He actually stepped up for me. Surprisingly, like his stats don't really look that good, but he played very well in game. Just don't expect too much out of these packs. Wait until those 50Ks. Just please, EA, give me some sort of walkout or an 85. So then I don't feel bad taking the untradeable rewards because I had 36,000 coins there that I could have just claimed and that maybe would have bought, well, it would have definitely bought the left back, Alex Tellez, but Christiansen, uh, Gamero, Rosilion, can I not change these two? Surely. And Dos Santos as well. Actually, I think I'm using Dos Santos in an SBC to go and get the kit. So that's actually worked out. Oh. He was already untradeable. So I think I'm ready. Let's get ourselves at least one podium pack. A walkout. That's what I'm saying right now. No. Please no. Just one EA. Alright, it's an 83. Or higher. Goalkeeper, Juventus. Oh, Perrin. 84. That's not so bad. Okay. That's a good start. That's, that's a taster. Anyone else inside the pack? Oh, Robert. Oh, do you know what? I know he's dropped in price, but he could be our left back for this weekend. Damn, he's actually so cheap. No one likes him. Remember when at the start of the game, was he actually 70,000? No, he wasn't 70,000. What am I talking about? Well, how much was he? 7,000 or set? Why have I got 70 stuck in my head? I think that's because of uh, Alexandro. Now, he was definitely pushing like 10,000 coins though, or I must be mistaken. And did he that I haven't used? I might have to give him a go now. Uh, small in, small Dini. No, 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 thanks. I, I like small in at the start, but not right now. Now nah, we've got better options. Why does it always come down to the last pack to save our foot division rival rewards? Will we see a board? Will we see a walkout? 
Oh no. No, no, no. Oh god, no. Damn, I should have taken the tradables. Oh no. I should have probably taken the tradables or at least the coins. But then hopefully, with Movember coming around, like the promo, we have, I don't know, maybe some sort of SPCs that EA decide to get around releasing, or the throwback SPC. I swear that's supposed to be coming out on Friday. You know, the um, the special throwback cards. We could use some of these players towards it. I hope so anyway. Day of the Dead SPC. Uh, where is it? That's what it was called. Yeah, Day of the Dead. You're also receiving a kit. And the reason why I'm doing this is to get the kit. And then my away one will be the Barcelona Lime Green. Because you can see like the trimmings. You can see like Lime Green. Can you? Yeah, it looks like a watermelon. I like it. Uh, we've got Prime Electrum Players, is that? What is it? It's a small Electrum Players pack. Well, I did it for the kit, so this pack is just a bonus. But four Mexican players, 76 overall, and 85 team chemistry. Some of these guys were like untradeable, and then, yeah, just a few tradable cards. But at least we get the pack, and we get a really nice kit. I don't know what my away one is, though. I might have to go and purchase the Barcelona one. So what are the chances that we're going to get something from this pack? I'll tell you what. If it's a board, it's a miracle. Because you're only getting one rare... The rest of them are like bronze and silvers. Nah, I didn't think so. Nah, it's just going to be a standard non-rare gold. Yeah, there you go. All right, well, that wasn't worth it for the pack, but we still get a beautiful kit. Oh, no, actually, sorry. Oh, my God. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I was going to say the silvers might be expensive. 8,000 bin? Please say they're tradable. 8,000 bin? And he sells? Why? Where is he from? Oh. Oh. I like that. 8,000 men please sell. So I just want to catch you guys up on some of the investments that I've made for play of the month of Bamiyang. Just so you know exactly what I'm doing. And I'm all in. I've gone fully in. I've built myself an Arsenal side. I'm pretty confident that Aubameyang's going to take it. But let's say Barkley does win it. I can use some of these high rated players towards that anyway. So I'm trying to... Make investments for a Bamiyang, but play it safe a little bit. Going through some of the pricing though, check 850, uh, Leek Steiner 1,000 coins, 1,004 for Kishelny, Socrates uh, 4,001, we've got uh, Nacho Monreal 1,002, Xhaka 700, I haven't bought him yet, Mkhitaryan 4,001, 750, first owner Welbeck, and 5,900 coins for Lacazette. So I was thinking that, yeah, one of the requirements uh, could be just a full Arsenal team, 82 rated, and that's what I've got ready for the SBC. If they ask for 83 or something like that, I can then just quickly go on the market and purchase um, as Ozil. I think he would probably be quite a good investment. Some people are saying, is it worth uh, keeping hold of a Bamiyang? Well, if we check his price right now, like 250k not even selling oh well actually yeah there was a bid there for 250 i don't think he's going to drop too much and will we even see a market crash this time around because of like the weekly people usually dump their cards after that because they're not playing like divisions that's what it was on fifa 18 but as there is like a competitive mode during the week which is foot division rivals people need the best of the best cards so we might not see too many players being flooded and then during black friday you never know like it could be a completely different market so be careful if you are someone that has just like sold up your cards expecting every everything to drop it may even go up like it's really difficult to predict right now but Bamiang, like if you were to buy him 250 that's what he's selling at i can't see him dropping too low and it could well be something used towards the Bamiang sbc but any other requirements uh past clubs uh for Aubameyang, Borussia Dortmund, St. Etienne let's go and take a look at the trade pile and other investments that we've made so I did decide the other day that I was going to cash out on Skrinia 9,800 coins it just adds to the cash flow and allows us to go and purchase a few new players bronze pack method OP he sold for 300. We're still waiting for this guy to sell we only just uh, recently packed him well in, in today's uh, video Shane Duffy that's not a bad investment. 12,000 coins. 
you're not really going to lose too much and in the future he 100% will be needed for something Premier League in form it's just an easy purchase just to play it safe and if he if he goes up he might sell for like 15 16,000 coins it really depends what they ask for so I've got some lesser players in there another requirement uh, could be the clubs that Aubameyang scored against and if I remember rightly it was like Fulham Leicester and somebody else uh, that's why I picked up Siri for 900 coins like that's actually a really good purchase 900 coins for an 82 rated player from Fulham as well. So it ticks one of the boxes. You can't really go wrong with that. So maybe I'm going to purchase a few more. I like that investment. It's pretty decent. Uh, past uh, clubs for Aubameyang, St. Etienne and Brisha Dortmund. Well, I've already got some Berkeys. And then at the club, I have a few more Brisha Dortmund cards. But the St. Etienne players I went and purchased, uh, we have Kabea there for how much? Was it 500? I picked him up. We got uh, Subasic as well and uh, this guy uh, for 500. You want to play it safe with Lamina. Just go and purchase one just in case because they may ask for the same nationality as a Bamiyang. And he's only a thousand five hundred coins. You're not losing too much. Like this isn't. This is a risky investment because, like, you're, you're paying one thousand five hundred coins for someone that is like discard. But then, like, it depends how many coins you've got at the club it's not really too much of a risk like if it doesn't pull through you're not going to cry about it but if you don't have too many coins right now then you might not want to make that but boys uh, what do you think of the investments that we've made so far like i have myself a ton of arsenal players that i'm just sitting on i've got yeah, clubs that Aubameyang scored against, uh, past clubs that he's played for. I think we're all right. So like I was saying at the start of the video, I haven't rushed out and made any signings just yet. I want to hear your thoughts and just gauge your response, seeing if it is a good idea for us to drop Sanchez. You know how good he was for us this weekend? 45,000 coins spent. I'm looking at this man, Marquinhos. And he doesn't look like we're going to be breaking the bank with him. He's around like 80,000 and he may even drop a little bit more. Now, what he has in his favor over Sanchez, he's a little bit more tactical. Like if we can uh, quickly compare the two, the reactions 84, the jump in 88, the stand tackle, the marking, the interceptions like this guy will be able to quickly break up the play but when it comes to like tracking back and pushing someone off the ball i don't think he's going to have that 75 strength 82 aggression and you compare that to sanchez 83 strength 87 aggression but you know what sanchez has dropped a lot 45,000. he's come down to what is it like 35k that he sells for damn i think it's just because everyone's panic selling i can't see sanchez uh, selling for as little as 25,000 anytime soon. Do we keep him or do we look to bring in Marquinhos this weekend? Like, I'd love to play it like this, in fact. But the whole, the whole idea of me keeping Kimembe is so he gets a strong link into Lala, who I'm interested in using for the weekend league. So for now, I think that we're going to have to sell Sanchez and purchase Marquinhos. And then what that does is allows us to upgrade the left back position, which would be Alex Tellez. So selling Skriniar for like 9,008, we can just go and purchase uh, Alex Tellez. And I've just seen 25,000 coins. That means that that silver player did in fact sell, which is awesome. So that paid for that SBC. So yeah, Alex Tellez, we can buy for about 9,000. But this man right here, is the guy that I want to really pick up this weekend. If it means us continuing to use Van Antholt and Sanchez, so be it. Like after the rewards, this guy is high priority. 196,000, so he's come down a little bit. He was selling for like 240 last night. So 175, I'd like to pay. And his stats have really been boosted. His attack position, the finishing, the shot power, the long shots, damn. And he's got four star, four star as well. Whereas Deli Ali, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, he has like uh, three star skills. Oh no, he's got the three star weak foot, four star skills. So yeah, he's just going to be even more dangerous, uh, William. But he's five foot nine, high tie work rates, just a different type of cam. You know, Deli Ali, he throws his weight around with his aggression and strength and height, whereas William is a little bit more technical, but he's got very nice stamina and he can actually get tackles in. Damn, I didn't realize Deli Ali actually 67 interceptions, 63 stand tackle, 64 marking. Jesus, maybe that's why it was working because he was just so well-rounded. We'll have to keep an eye on that, but I'm really looking forward to bringing, it, bringing in William this weekend. And would I promise you guys that signing? Yeah, like 
I, I think I will be able to afford him after the weekend league rewards. I just don't know about these two at the back. But with Hazard playing on seven chemistry is what it is. I think we've got a nice little hybrid going on. I know it's only like a two league hybrid. Actually, sorry, three league hybrid with the Syria at top. I've dropped in some of my favorite players. Before today's episode, I want to have a look through at some of the, um, uh, the monthly cards or untradables. I want to give them a go. Even Balotelli actually bringing in him, him off the bench, seeing what he can do with his finishing and stuff. Yeah, because his pace went up. Yeah, it'd be fun to uh, give him a go. Alcacer I can use towards um, maybe actually that Borussia Dortmund requirement if they ask for a past Bamian club. There you go. Alcacer, a uh, top rack as well. That could be pretty sweet. But I think what I am going to do is bring on that Scream uh, Balotelli. Just give him a go. And there's somebody else that you can unlock, which is Daily Bitlind from the challenge. And that's to score goals in six separate division rival games with Dutch players. So I've got Promise, I've got the pie that I can also uh, drop in in the action. So we're ready, boys. I'm just going to bring uh, these guys back for now. So Deli Ali, I'll sub him out and I'll bring on uh, Quincy Promes in that cam position just so we can do this challenge well, well attempt to complete it jesus what is this team that i've been put up against that is incredible bro can our squad even compete i am pressing start so i can bring on not only balotelli but i want to bring on those dutch players damn oh we're feeling it right now lucas do we really want to drop lucas from the starting 11 some people have mixed opinions towards this guy i like him He's actually a beast. Henri. George Best. Uh, what? <laughs> oh, I couldn't clear it with Van Anthol. How's that gone in? Well done, Hazard. Balotelli. Let's try and build up as best as we can. Quincy Promes. He needs to get himself that goal. Oh, have they messed up for their shots or something? I haven't really been able to catch them as sweet. Oh, Jesus. That was a dangerous ball, man. Was that LBX to Lewandowski? Yeah, this guy is loving to cross and get down the line. But that was a good ball in. Damn, Lewandowski inside the box. I think the worst thing I could have done was bring on Balotelli. Because <laughs> I don't have the pace right now in the attack. Hold on. Make up for it, Ballo. I've got the finish. That's all that you need. I'm not doing that. He's doing it. Good, Alan. He's broken up the play pretty well. Oh, we are free. We are free right now. You can just see. Stop it. That's my goal. Quincy Promes. Is it score a goal with a Dutch player in six separate games? Or is it six separate games and get the win? Go on, Hazard. Yes, Hazard. Hazardinho. What have I just said? Oh my god. It's too easy. Promes, welcome back. Do you remember how overpowered he was when I was using him in the other team? He's just the perfect super sub. There's no need to sell him. We're actually controlling the game in this one. Four goals for us. We conceded two pretty decent goals. Like, he is deadly with these crosses. Like, pinpoint Lewandowski on the end of it. Is going in. Oh, well played. His Henri hasn't really done too much right now. Through ball from Balotelli. Dude, Lucas is causing my opponents so much trouble. He's so good to just work the play. I don't really want to get rid of him, man. No, 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 no. You cannot be leaving the game with that team. This side smashed him. Fred, Allen, Promes, Balotelli. Look at that squad. Pogba as a CDM. I don't know, man. How many of you guys actually use Pogba in that position? So that last game was a little bit too quick for my liking. Back in the action. 4-5-1. Red Hulk. Mm. Mm. Hulk gets himself a goal. That's it. Go. Hazard. Is it Hazard? Who is it? I don't know if it's Hazard. Oh, it's Mertens. Oh, okay. Thank you very much for your input. I'm going to get caught here. Player switching feels really bad. No. Oh, what a save. Oh, my God, Ariola. You God. That was a great save. Double save, in fact. Through ball. 
Nice. Oh, good play from Mertens. Hazard is in, but the touches just feel... Oh, they feel terrible, man. It's like everything is too slow and robotic for me right now. I can't, like, play how I want to play. Just nice and smooth, rapid, taking those touches straight away. It's just every pass seems to be such an effort right now for my players. Mertens. Oh. Lucas. Good pass. First time finesse. Mm, have they messed them up? I don't know about you guys. Have you noticed anything after the patch? Oh, that was a great finish. A cross goal the opposite way. Is that Hazard? Oh, yeah, it is. That was a good goal. So we are leading the game by the one goal. We've been playing okay. Not great, just okay. Um. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes, we got it out. Don't panic, boys. We survive. Pass. Like, oh, my God. That was a beautiful ball. I need to score with Promes, no? Yeah, I do. It's just like, um, it's after like skills and stuff. Oh, what a finish. It's after skills and then trying to play the ball quickly. It seems a lot slower than it was before the patch. And it could just be division rivals. Like it's, it's been like this for like three days though. I thought he was changing his game plan or something like that, but he's gone. Another player that bites the dust. Kante and Fabinho as his two CDMs. Sané, Lucas, Hazard, Hulk as striker. I don't know if I would really be playing Hulk as the striker, to be fair. So let me explain the situation that we're in right now. We have 26,000 coins because those silvers did in fact sell on. We will receive 100,000 coins later tonight at 7 p.m. Then if you add that to the sale of Sanchez, if we do decide to get rid of him, we are pushing up to enough coins to be able to afford a William in form for this weekend. So then it comes down to the team of the week pack and the 100k. Will we be able to generate enough funds to finish off the starting 11? Well, the left back, Alex Tellez, who's like 10k, yeah, we'll be able to buy him. It really comes down to who's going to be replacing Sanchez in that center back position. Is it going to be in form Marquinhos? Will we be able to make enough coins to buy those three players? Time will tell. But thank you very much for watching. That's where we're going to end today's episode. Hopefully we'll have really nice gameplay in the weekend league uh, because division rivals just feel so dodgy, man. Maybe the patch has affected it, but weekend league, I'm looking forward to playing it with the new signings and see if we can finish in the elite tier again. Thank you for watching. Drop a like and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.